Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and uh, today uh, we are doing ANSYS or uh, tutorial. So as now you can see uh, this design of uh, Benchwise which I have already posted in my uh, channel. So you can check out how we can design this in Katia V5. Now what we will do in, with this one is we will import this as an IGS model into ANSYS and then we will assign uh, different materials to different parts of this benchwise. So let's see how we can do that. So we will save it as so go to file save as and save as type just change it to IGS and uh, you can save it to your uh, folder. I have already done it on my ANSYS so I'll consider it for now and then let's move on to the ANSYS workbench now in the ANSYS workbench we'll obviously go for static structure alright so you can name it if you want and from here we will first come to geometry right click and import our geometry so go for browse and select your model that's it now after that we will double click on engineering data and we will add few materials so by default you will see in the outline of a schematic structural steel now we want static we want uh, stainless steel and uh, we want a gray cast iron so for that we can go to engineering data sources and uh, from here we can go to general material and inside it we can see there is gray cast iron so just come to column B and click on the plus sign so it will be added and uh, same for the stainless steel so we added it right let's close that engineering data sources now we want to add another uh, new material so for that let's click here let's name your material so we will name it mild steel enter now we don't have any properties inside it so we will come to physical properties and double click so it will be added to your mild steel and then we will come to strength so strength we will add tensile yield strength we will add compressive yield strength so we have uh, added uh, our properties for mild steel you can add a number of different properties from the toolbox but uh, for this tutorial I'll be doing these three uh, different properties only and from here we will need the value so for the density we will go for 7850 kilogram per meter cube that's perfect in the tensile yield strength let's change the unit to MPA and then we will type in 231.94 for the compressive same change the unit to MPA and the value is 407.7 so that's it we have done our uh, mild steel properties now let's check out the properties of cast iron so we need density 7200 that's perfect we need Young's modulus 1.1 uh, we can change its unit to MPA as well. So let's go for MPA. Okay. Uh, we want 8.3. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's keep it to default value. We don't want to change it. Now, after that, we will come back to our project and we will double click our model. will take few seconds to open it so 
So once you are in the model view, you will see your uh, geometry which we have uh, imported. So we'll assign different materials to uh, different parts. So let's first select, uh, let's come to uh, the model and expand the geometry so we can have all the different parts right here and we will uh, go for let's say yeah let's start with the screw so we will select all the screw so set a screw one one this one this one this one this one and one more on the top so that is oval filter and we will come to its uh, details of multiple section and in the material assignment we will change it to stainless steel okay wait now let's uh, go for a few more parts so for the next part next part we will select the vice body and the base plate where is base plate this and this and we will assign this uh, grey cast iron ok now for for the other parts we can say let's say let's go for clamping plate jaw screw and uh, oval fist no we don't want it screw bar and we want our vice jaw as well as our gloves one our gloves two yeah and then we will assign this uh, mild steel so very easily we assigned our materials now we don't see any changes so let's go for display style and change it to material all right and then you come here and update the project it will take few seconds to update your uh, material and now we come to model tab again and we can hide the mesh from here and we can see our material so we have assigned different materials to different parts and that's how you can assign different materials in ANSYS to your assembly I hope you guys like this tutorial if you have any doubts with this one feel free to comment down below and uh, I'll just give a like give a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new thank you guys peace out